Hello, welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the second season of Vikings Valhalla. Um, I just watched a really quick recap, but I gotta be honest, I barely remembered anything. I, like, I thought I still had everything fresh in my mind. And I was like, I remember the ending. The ending was that um, they had the battle and then in the end, I think Leif... They didn't include that in the recap, I just realized. But Leif was in the end, like, fully covered in blood. And then um, they were afraid that he was gonna be just like his father. I think that was the ending. So I was like, I know that. So I know the rest. But then I just watched the recap and I was like, I would not have known anything if I hadn't watched this. So I'm very happy about that. It did go really fast. So there might still be some things I have to like remember. Uh, but I think I'm ready for the second season. Before I start, I want to tell you that you can already see more of my reaction videos uh, on my Patreon. The second one is going to be online tomorrow, I think. And then I'm just going to upload uh, one every day there. So within a week, you can see all the episodes there. So if you're interested, check out my Patreon. You have an early access tier and an uncut reactions tier. Yeah, I gotta be honest, Vikings Valhalla wasn't my favorite show. As in, it was good. But, I mean, it's not Vikings. Um, but I said that a lot of times in the uh, season itself as well. Like, it was interesting. But to be honest, I even, like, wasn't sure if I was gonna react to it. And then I thought about it really long. And then I was like, ah, it was kind of a cool show. So I'm just gonna check it out. Uh, let's hope if it's gonna be uh, as good as the first one. Or just better. That would even be nicer. Uh, but I do remember being really invested in the character storylines. And, yeah, some cool things happen. So yeah, today I'm gonna check out season two and uh, let's watch the first episode. Immediate violence. Oh yeah, and I remember that there was this big thing between uh, pagan and Christian Vikings that also just came back. Slave. So is this like right after or did some time pass? Hmm. Where? You're just peacefully dying there and then someone does that. So yeah, this is right after the battle, I think. He mad. I think the late storyline with his father and him, like, everyone kind of being scared that he would turn out like his father, I think that was really interesting. Oh. Yeah, he surrendered and I just saw that scene in the recap and I remember that that was such a satisfying scene. Back at it. Oh, is there actually a longer intro now? Because I'm not sure, but if I remember correct, I thought it was just like a really small intro piece in the first episode. Always when I see that logo, I just think Vikings is back, but then it's not actually Vikings. arrangement to decide who's cooking. Are they living together in a little house now? Oh, wasn't he? The wound is set. Come. Yeah, he was stabbed and then I thought he was gonna die. I totally forgot about that. I really thought like at the end of this first season, I feel like we weren't even sure if he was gonna survive. And then I was really sad. What would you rather do? Stay here in the wilderness? Wrong with raising children in a place where they will know peace instead of war. Because my children are meant to be rulers of Norway, not hide in its wilderness. Your children? I mean, living in peace is oh, not per se hiding. I must go back. You the rain this? is insane. I think you can hear it on camera actually. But it's also raining there, so matching. I don't know. I get why she likes the idea of just living there in peace, but he wants more. So, I mean, they have to come to an agreement if they want to stay together, I mean. Oh, yeah, her. Oh, that are the friends that died. He's seeing them? Stop. Ah, this bitch. I want to say he deserves it, but I honestly forgot all the things he did. 
but I know I hated him, so he probably deserves it. Oh, I love mm -hmm. her though. Mm. My husband would not be worried about my security if you did not give him reason to. Oh, oh yeah, she married the Viking, the right? I think I said this last year did in my reaction. Um, back then there was this guy in my oh, class, I and I think he really looks like him. The and then when the season was over, I went to him and I was like, um, I gotta tell you this, there's this guy in a Viking show that really looks like you. And he was like, you think I look like a Viking with like a beard and stuff? And then I showed him a picture of this guy and I was like, nah, not really, more like this. Look at the oldest. He'd be special. A great warrior. Well educated. And I love how people just used to um, care so much about their highest born or like oldest born. And then um, the other children are just like... Yeah, let's take another one. Also, when I say childhood, it's a meme with me and my friends, and I constantly forget that um, I'm still saying it, but that was an accident, but I know it's children. Can you say a queen's two sons with apple red? And Canute's own children would make that dream impossible. You asked me about my dream. Fair. What did you see? Oh. Where are you? Just because it isn't here, does not mean you didn't see it. Did you feel threatened? No, just... I love how they brought one ba back the Sorry. one character they could bring back. Surprise. The signs you so desperately look for are everywhere, Freydis. I am tired of this rebels about the future. You answer me nothing. That's the seer Beasts for you. The peace run from have not ceased. Simply because you cannot hear them. Wise. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to Kattegat with you. Okay. I mean, if the seer tells you to go to Kattegat, you should. You got a good seat for the show. Saying Forbert is going to hang Olaf. Hanging. An English tradition. Should be the Blood Eagle. <laughs> I just wanted to say he would probably rather do the Blood Eagle and then he said it. Maybe like Ericsson, no? It's famous now. Will your sister be here for the execution? What do you care? Christian Tyrant Olaf Haraldson gets what he deserves. Oh yeah, he was one of the Christian Vikings. He yeah. Now I remember, he was an asshole. <laughs> Honestly, imagine being a Viking and then having the privilege to be hanged when they execute you instead of the Blood Eagle. That is a big difference. I know what I would choose. But I mean, they do say if they don't do the Blood Eagle, then you don't go to Valhalla, I thought. But I think that might be different for Christian Vikings then, or I don't know. Tell me. Just spare me. Oh, but I don't intend to kill you. I'm installing my grandson of Spain as king of Norway. Because <laughs> you're protecting If you think you're a foe. That's why it's not your own life you're saving. What is he saying? What is the plan? Father. Oh. <laughs> I. Okay. Protect my grandson. Guide him to be king. A Viking. A man. If you do this, the crown of Norway will fall to him. I mean, but you can clearly see how much he loves his son, so anything. he'll probably accept. In my rights as a wife. You threatened my son's kingdom. This will be your new home. Here. In Kassigat. Yes, Swain Kanutsan will be the new king of Norway. Queen Agibu of Denmark will remain here in Kattegat as his regent. Oh, no. I have to guarantee. Placed. They're no, definitely not gonna son. like that. As the king's protector, <laughs> there will be no execution today. <laughs> disappointed. I always <laughs> love how disappointed people are when they're not gonna see someone being executed. People are cruel. Oh, really? Got the gut. This chest. And two more like it for the man or family who brings me their heads. Give them a few co coins and they're suddenly fine with you. 
She is a legend. Come on, the girl's a fangirl. You come to help us, haven't you? Give her the pleasure of meeting you. No. I'm sorry, but you are mistaken. Ah. We are going to find a new home. But those boats are not seaworthy. We've heard the ship's waiting for us out there. To take you where? To a new Uppsala across the sea. I would not trust that. Place you must leave now or you miss the tide. I already don't trust that guy taking the coins. What was that? It was too incomprehensible. Dude. That is the same guy as the. He's the one who was standing with the boats, right? Or not? Are you sure it is them? My father yeah. Harold, and the woman calls her the keeper of the faith. But I can take you there for a price. Is she gonna get rid of it? There's nothing you could do to help them. Oh yeah. They also knew it was bad. I'm supposed to be the keeper of the faith. Could they not have just killed that one man and Someday. saved the rest? And maybe the man on the boat then? Whoever are part of it. I didn't remember Olaf had a son. So I'm now wondering, did we see him in the first season? You trust Olaf? Oh. I don't need to trust him. He needs to trust me. I'm yeah. Sure. He got him right where he wants. Never again. I just really can't unsee her as that lady Olaf, from The Walking Dead. You ready for your first lesson? I promise it will be one you will not forget. I think Leif is following them. I mean, he knows that was about his sister, right? Yeah, there he is. That was pretty obvious. Nice. At least they're warned now. Don't fuck with Leif. Oh, I'm so happy he's dead because I didn't like his face from the beginning and I was really scared we would have to look at it for the rest of the season. No, I'll just leave the axe. We need to move. Olaf is not far behind. Olaf has placed a price on your head and Freydis's. Nowhere is safe for you now. We must keep moving. So no return to Kattegat? <laughs> Too bad. Two sets of traps reach this point. Another joins them. And they lead that way. Hmm, who would that be? In the meantime, I've posted additional herskals at all the doors to ensure you're all safe. I really wonder how people you, still sleep when you yes, find out like you. so many people want to kill you. I'm sorry that I didn't trust you. Good night, you all. Or did he arrange this? Just to look like a good guy now. Who's protecting them. Hmm. I don't know, I never really trusted him. Maybe it's because he looks like the guy yeah, from my class. is a long journey. Whatever chance do we have? A life on the run? Could have lived have a nice chance. peaceful life in a little house. Wait, wait, I'm a friend! Dome! What is that? Pirates. Ocean thieves. We believers in the old ways. If you wish to survive, you must stop come with me. No. They're not going anywhere. Very else convincing. Con convenient. What is this, Mark? The school's net. The web of fate. Oh. I've seen this before. Lead the way. Hmm. This is where I'm to make my last stand. And so be it. I will stand with you. Green Lapis. Is it lit? Yes. Ouch. I was so sad when Liv died. I loved her. What does she tell you? She tells me to let go of my anger. That sounds like her. Why is she here with you? She asked me to promise to meet her there. And I couldn't. Why not? So I no longer believe Freydis. I feel like he's indeed so different than no. the beginning of season one. So much changed for him. I am going to share with you. She's not pregnant, right? Oh, she's pregnant. Is that enough? No. It's 
promise me not to tell him. Why not? Because I cannot have a child. But one day he will be the ruler of a Christian nation. You think I will do require it? Because I will not allow it. For a moment I also forgot that he was a Christian Viking, but yeah. That is so fucked up though. Thinking, I know one day he will be king of this country. Hmm. hmm. That is something, yeah. I know. Does that mean they will like break up? You already are a great queen. I see it in your people's eyes when they are with you. So they are going separate ways then. I did not expect that. But I get it with the child and she doesn't want all that, so yeah. This is fucked. Kill them all! Oh! Oh! Okay! I already wondered what their purpose in the story was. I gotta say, I do think Vikings and like, well, I don't really remember if that was also in Vikings, but in Vikings on Hala, it's quite satisfying most of the times because the bad guys and like the really annoying ones, they mostly do get what's coming for them. So that's really nice. Like they were so sure that they were going to get them now. And then, yeah, it was pretty nice. We have come for you, ladies. Join us in Youngsburg. Oh. I mean, to be honest, what else is she gonna do if she doesn't want to go to like wherever he's going? I love that they respect each other's wishes so much. You will never be far from my heart. I do hate that they are saying goodbye again though. Okay, I'm looking forward to her storyline, where she's going and stuff and what she's going to do. I have no intention of roaming the whole way there by myself. Why not? I thought Greenland is good roll across any ocean. We can. We prefer company. Come on. Put your back into it. I kind of like them as a duo though. Oh, that was it already. That was so fast. I gotta say, I feel like not a lot happened yet, but I like where they're going, I think. As in... I'm interested to find out more, see where everyone's going, what their path is going to be. I think it was also a nice episode to kind of slowly get back into the story, so they might have done that on purpose. Even though I did just realize that it's not even that long ago when the first season aired. It was like, um, I think February or March? 2022? I, I feel like it's not even a year ago because I remember I just moved here and I'm moving out soon because I'm living here for a year and then I got COVID and then I just started my new school here and then I couldn't go. I found out how I had COVID in a weekend at my parents place but my camera stuff and everything was here. So then I remember having COVID but I was not so sick that I couldn't record so I just got another random camera and I recorded everything in my room on my computer and then I think that was in March. So the amount of stuff you can forget in like not even a year is so insane to me. Especially, I mean, I watch a lot of TV shows though, so. But I gotta say, I got back into the story quite nicely, I think. Uh, it helped that I watched a recap and in the beginning it took me a bit like, oh, like for example, Olaf, like, I don't fully remember what he did and then it just started coming back to me and I was like, ah, yes. So yeah, I think um, slow first episode, but it was nice for me, to be honest. I hope the rest of the season is gonna have a bit more action and a bit more like deep storyline. So that would be really nice. Um, and for now, that was my first reaction to the first episode. <laughs> yeah, like I said, if you already wanna see more, check out my Patreon, where you can also find my full reactions to the episodes. And um, yeah, did you like it? Then please leave a like, subscribe, and then I hope to see you next time. Bye!